Yeah. When uh, this is Black Light, the other Black Light, your motivator. When Mayor Young was, uh, when he got voted into the office of mayor, it was right after the riot or the rebellion. Uh, the Nation of Islam was going strong. Motown was going strong. It was, it was uh, a time when the blacks uh, were had businesses every everywhere you look. Auto mechanic shops. Supermarkets. I worked in a supermarket called Our Supermarket on Joy Road. And they sabotaged each other. But you could have. Uh, had block clubs was building up. I ain't gonna talk too long, I just wanna you check this out. Damn good food. Mayor, right here we'll put that there tomorrow. We're in the ground breaking in two weeks. Good. good. I'd like me to come back. I'll be here for the groundbreaking. One of the first things you have to learn as mayor is patience. You find that it takes forever between the conception of an idea and the realization of that idea. But you also learn that if you push hard enough, if you're patient enough, and if you solicit enough cooperation from the people, you can achieve the dream. Known the Center is, among other things, a reputation of those uh, who have long said that there's no market for housing downtown. Fact of the matter, the Miller Center, before it's finished, uh, has uh, already all the apartments subscribed in a long waiting list. This is going to be a beautiful place when you finish it. And downtown is, among other things, a gigantic new neighborhood, new community. There must be at least 10,000 new units of housing where there were none at all, or almost none at all, 10 years ago. There's a whole string of very good-looking and modern apartment buildings, some older and some new. You could not, by looking at these buildings, tell which were luxury apartments and uh, which were subsidized. One of those is Sheridan Place, another example of uh, the type of integrated community we seek to establish in Detroit, which would include senior citizens, people of average means, which would not exclude them. And I think that's the way it should be. <laughs> Trappers Alley proved the people who come downtown to shop. Had to have a good time. People come from all over our city, all over our state, and literally from all over the country to Trappers Alley and giving new vitality to downtown. Well, I'm there. That's it. Oh, <laughs> really, the city's been super. I've done a lot, seen a lot. Isn't this a wonderful place here? It's super. We should have something like this in New York. Unfortunately, we're going to have to get it finished. We're trying down at the South. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a long time past. I'm glad to know about that. No one's ever had it. Downtown is very important to my dream of a Detroit for tomorrow because it will provide a considerable number of the jobs that we need to enable people to pay the rent and to buy new homes and to improve their neighborhoods. The neighborhoods likewise have shown remarkable progress. Seven Mile and Grash is exactly the same way. New businesses are moving in there because the people there have faith in the area. There's a new feeling of hope and a new feeling of unity. I think if you cared to look across Detroit's neighborhoods, you would find that they are more stable the day, that there's more activity going on today, and there's more hope for tomorrow. Uh, Mary Young, this is one of the uh, houses, we have about 12 on this block, that the Detroit Neighborhood Housing Service is painting up and fixing up. Private uh, homes being rebuilt uh, by the owners. The city and lending institutions uh, provide a minimum of capital, uh, a minimum of paint and other building material, so that people, by virtue of their own labor, rebuild 
and establish new pride in our own neighborhood. This one was painted here. This is one that's being right. right. black and white. That's been done. You offer new hope of safer streets to our citizens. Police officers who know that if you want to earn the trust and respect of the people, you have to extend trust and respect to the people. I want you to know that I'm very proud of this class. It's a significant one. You know that we had called back almost 800 police officers who had been laid off. Now all the laid off police officers are back and we're, we're calling up new police officers. This is the first class of 200 out of what we expect to be at least 800 new police officers. The whole city of Detroit has been waiting for you. I'm looking forward to your graduation, to your becoming a part of what I am convinced is the best police department in the United States. It is that now, when you graduate, you're going to make it even better. Congratulations. can I say things went the other, the other way but it's not too late for not just Detroit but for wherever there's a black man and black woman you could buy these cities man you pull your money together the Chinese and Japanese come over here and buy up plants and neighborhoods, the European Caucasian come over here, you know, buy up neighborhoods, Russia come over here, buy up stuff. We making enough money. I mean, we could eat without slinging, slinging dope. We could eat without slinging drugs. But like I said in the last video, a lot of us, you know, want to hang out with the corrupt ones and try to build off of corruptness. You can't do it, man. You can't imitate the Caucasian. He's totally corrupt. You got to be righteous, totally righteous. And like I said on the last video, you could turn these dollars into gold and silver. Yeah. 
buy the gold, buy the silver. Go to the pawn shops, pull your money together, buy out all the gold, diamonds, and silver in the pawn shop. Stash it, sit on it. You know, when you trade with one another, with other countries, use the gold and silver to trade with. Because this, this kind of, you ain't gonna have this paper dollar long anyway, man. It's on its way out. We'll have electronic money. See, if you don't act right, they'll cut the electricity, cut the power, cut the feed to, to your phone. But if you had your own cell, if you had your own uh, smartphones, if you had your own cell phone towers, you know, you ain't have to worry about, you know, that double. This is black light. Think about it.